mommy, isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of. Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Anna and I am so excited to share this week's video with you guys. Y'all, I don't know if you are struggling like me, but this summer has been brutal. Not gonna lie, just being very real with you guys, it has been brutal with all of the kids home and just trying to find time to even clean or organize and then as soon as you do it, I will show you guys in this video as soon as I clean. It is destroyed almost immediately. Well, we went to bed and then woke up and it was pretty much destroyed by lunchtime. Not even probably that long. So it is just a very real look at cleaning and trying to survive this summer. I am a person who really thrives on schedules and routines. So I'm trying to keep my kids on a schedule and in routine this summer. But it is just hard to get things done when they are home all the time and coming right behind you like little tornadoes. Love my little tornadoes. But nonetheless, it is a challenge to get things done during the summertime. So today we are getting it all done. We are doing a nighttime clean starting out here in my kitchen. And I am just tackling and really giving my kitchen a very good clean. And then the next day I will show you a reality look at what the... <laughs> the house looks like the very next day. I do a little Elmo rescue at one point because we had Elmo hanging out of a window up in our entry. I mean, it's just chaos all the time around here right now. And then I am going to do a very quick little tidy in my minivan. My littlest one loves to eat snacks because he's constantly with me as I shuttle his big brother and sister everywhere to all of their lessons and things like that. So he has snacks and he makes an absolute mess wreck of the place. So I have to clean that up. It was after church one day. I just needed to get in there. I just didn't want to attract any critters, any ants, anything like that. So we're going to tidy that up. And then I did something so fun. And I went over to my dear sweet friend's house and we arranged a play date and she had a closet she really wanted my help with. So we got in that closet we completely cleaned it out decluttered it and organized it and got it all back in and just gave her a organized functioning closet it was so fun to do and you know it was a win-win the kids got to play with their best friends and I got to help my best friend and it was so much fun so I'm going to share all of that with you we've got a lot to do in today's video so let's get right to it the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect
Now that I've gotten the kitchen all cleaned and tidy, it's time to do my floors, and I love my Tinco I floor too. I talk about it all the time. You literally just feel that tank with water and that little bitty capful of the solution. I love that such a little bit goes a long way. I've had that solution the entire time I've had this, have not had to buy another thing of it yet, so it goes a long way. But I love this for nights when I don't want to vacuum and then come and whip out my OC cedar spin mop which I also love but I just here right now with all of the chaos I just want to vacuum and mop all at once so I love using this thing so that's what I'm doing I'm coming through and getting my floors all tidied up and cleaned so and then I wanted to thank you guys I had a lot of sweet comments and support on my last video when I had mentioned you know I'd gotten some comments in, in several different videos spread out it's not a lot but about talking too much and this and that and so many of you said please don't stop talking it's so nice to talk to a friend so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your sweet, kind comments. I just love the community we're building together and how it is positive and uplifting. And I hope that it continues to just grow and thrive and become a nice, wonderful, safe place for people to come. Relax, get your cleaning done, and feel like you're cleaning with a friend. That is my heart. So I also wanted to encourage you guys, if you are struggling, know that you are not alone. As I tell you guys, I'm very real with you guys. Summertime is a struggle for me. I just, I thrive on the structure and everything and it is not my favorite season on top of it. I love the fall and cooler months. That is just my personal preference. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite season. But I thrive in the fall especially. I just love that time of year. It just is a special wonderful time of year and I love the season of it. But anyways, I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you are struggling like I am, just do one or two things every day. Just try to. But if you can't, don't beat yourself up. You are doing the best you can, and that is all you can ever do. And there are days where I don't do one thing of cleaning, no laundry. I just can't. There's some days I just can't. So I want you to know that you are not alone. Do the best you can when you can. And don't worry about the rest. I just wanted to really encourage you and let you know you're doing a great job. Keep doing what you are doing and just do the best you can. That's all anyone can ever ask. You interrupt me and I interrupt you. A shame. When did we start losing and stop giving? I remember I gave it time, 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 all of my time, time, time. Now my mind, mind's lost in its thoughts. I want you, 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 want only you, you, you. But my heart's all tied up in knots. Wanna release it, wanna release it. I told y'all I was going to be very real and open with you guys, so I had my beautiful clean kitchen. I hadn't gotten into our family room the night before. I just focused on the kitchen, but it wasn't that bad, and then this was just the next day. I mean, this is the reality of it. Poor Elmo took a ride way up high into our entry, but so I had to get him knocked down, but while I was up there, I thought, I've got the duster out. I'm going to swipe these windows real quick and the top of our uh, door frame as well, but I just wanted to be very real and open with you guys and show you that as soon as things get cleaned up, they are going to be destroyed as soon as everybody was awake and back. This was on a weekend, so 
it, it just was wild. And this is just the reality of you can enjoy your clean, tidy space, but it never lasts long. Job security, right? <laughs> and then this is the state of my minivan on pretty much any given day, but it had gotten really bad, like to the point, like I'm pretty good at keeping my van pretty clean. I have the kids. I always tell them when they get out, take your trash, take your things, get everything out. But when it comes to the snacks, like I said, my poor baby, he has to go everywhere with us and he's in the car riding to pickups, drop-offs, lessons, all the things. So sometimes his snacks get out of hand. He's figured out how to take the top off of his snack cup and he just has a party in the back seat. So I had to get on top of this. My husband was like, I've not seen your car this bad in a while. There was cups and everything. I had the things already out but I just needed to, this is not a deep clean or anything. I'm not even pulling the mats out, but I am pulling out my handy dandy hand vacuum that I talk about all the time. And I always have it linked below in case you're interested. I love this light on the top of it too. I was in my garage and it was really dark and hard to get good lighting on this. So I apologize for that, but that's why I love this handheld thing. So I was going through without the long attachment on it and getting up the big pieces. There was animal crackers as well as Cheerios and other cereals. This was several days worth of snacks on our floor. So I was getting the big pieces and then I'll come back through with the little attachment and kind of get in the crev crevices. But I was just literally trying to get this stuff up so we did not attract any sort of pest, bugs, critters, you name it. I did not want that happening, but that is all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else. I just literally needed to clean that out. And I had some stuff up in the front I wanted to clean out too, but I am not dusting or wiping down anything and literally just trying to clean, tidy up and look at all of that stuff that this thing picked up. I love this vacuum. It really does a great job and it was very budget friendly and affordable much cheaper than a lot of them that are out there right now. So if you are in the market for something like this, I um, have it linked below if you want to check it out. Now for the really fun stuff, we are switching houses. I am heading over to a dear sweet friend's house. We had scheduled this play date for our kiddos and also for us for a decluttering organizing project as well. She had wanted me to help her get this closet in order and I could not have been more excited. I love decluttering and organizing and I love doing it in other people's spaces. As I mentioned in last week's video, I used to work for an organizing company and a moving company and we used to do this, especially for the elderly people. And we would move their stuff and then reorganize it in their new homes. And I just love setting up spaces in people's homes that brings them joy and kind of relieves a little bit of a stress or a pain point for them. So I was so excited to jump into this project, get it decluttered and organized and functioning so well for them. So I am so excited to share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and tackle this closet now. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong 
yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art project like this my main goal is to create a space that functions for whoever is using it so when I came into the space I asked my friend how do you see your family using this space what do you want this space to look like then that allows me to form a game plan as to how to organize it once everything is pulled out and then what I do is I go through and pull everything out, organize it into categories. As I do that, go through the stuff, declutter anything that does not need to be in that closet or they do not need at all. She was able to declutter and donate a lot of stuff and trash several things as well. So figure out how you want your space to be used, declutter, organize as you do that, and then put it all back in to function for how you want to use the space. One thing we did that you won't see come together in this video is we bought her some hanging organizers for all of her gift wrapped and gift bags. So when it comes in, she can hang it in her closet. It'll take up a lot less space. But for now, we're housing them all right here on top of this shelf. And then when that arrives, she can put them all in there and it will create a really great gift wrapping space for her in her closet. We come alive in the nighttime. There's something about how we dance in the moonlight that looks
All of this decluttering and organizing always gets me in the mood for the back to school prep and I love doing those back to school prep videos for you guys. So let me know in the comments below some things that you would like to see in that video because that will be coming the 1st of August very soon. So I wanted to let you know that is coming. Tell me what you want to see in my back to school prep video. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. I know you have lots of choices in videos that you choose to watch. So thank you so much for watching my video today. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single video. I hope you are leaving today with some encouragement and tons of cleaning motivation. If you need more motivation, I'm going to leave you with some of my past closet declutter videos. Y'all seem to love those and they are majorly motivating and very satisfying. So I'm going to leave those on the end screen at the very end of this video. So if you're decluttering with me and you want to keep going, check out those next videos and keep on going. Keep pushing forward towards your goal. And until next week, friends, take care. Somehow I want